these problems. I really like to visualize where radians is. So it says find the complement and supplement for two radians. So first of all, I need to think, wow, what, what are radians, right? Where are my radians? So I'm going to draw the circle. All right, and we remember radians is the distance of our radius, right? So if I was going to take this distance and wrap it around, roughly one radian, give me here, two radians, three radians, roughly, right? I know my circle is not very great, but that's one radian. Here would be two radians. Here would be three radians. So if I said, well, what is exactly halfway of a circle, right? Well, we'd say that's, there is no exact number, right? But when we did the little measurements, we figured out that exactly halfway around a circle is pi radians, okay? 3.14159 pi radians. So all they're saying is the exact same thing. When we're finding the complement and the supplement, we know exactly halfway around is pi, which is an irrational number. It goes on forever. So halfway, if here's pi, then halfway would be pi over 2. So if I say find the complement, remember complement is what two angles add up to give you 90 degrees, right? Well, if my first angle is over 90 degrees, I can't have the complement, correct? Right? So I'd have to do, you know, remember, just to be careful, just it is, pi divided by 2 minus theta equals your complement. However, this is greater than 90 degrees, so therefore there is no complement for this problem. Okay? Then let's look, take a look at the supplement. Remember, the supplement is what two angles add up to give you 180 degrees. But now we're not dealing with degrees, we're dealing in radians. Well, what is the exact term for 180 degrees. It's pi. So all you do is pi minus. So what we have, we have two radians is right here. So we need to figure out what is this angle. So I'm just going to do pi minus 2 equals my theta. See, this is pi minus 2. Okay? And yes, you know, you'll have to approximate your answer as you guys write it in decimal form. But it's just going to be pi minus 2 equals theta. All right, so whatever your angles are, remember, for complement, you subtract whatever your angle is from um, pi over 2. And supplement, you subtract your angle from pi. So if it's just radians, you just do it like that. I know a lot of you guys got confused because you're like, well, it was easy when it was like pi over 3, right? You just said pi minus pi over 3. Well, pi over 3 is a fraction, right? It's really one-third of pi. So if pi was all the way over here, one third of that would be, you know, probably like right there. One third, two thirds, three thirds. So it's just a different way of understanding radians. Radians is just your length of your radius. Since it's greater than 90, there's no complement. But to get your supplement, you just do pi minus your angle, which is two radians, equals your theta. All right? Yes? I was asking you. 